You rarely see solo kills in Smite these days. The players are just too good. Everyone's on the same level. It just doesn't happen. So what are the chances of seeing two solo kills in the same set? What about seeing three? Or what about seeing four in a row, back to back to back to back? That should be impossible, right? Well, not if you're Pagon. I go over to Dave and Mifflin to take us through Dragon's V-Bolts. Two teams remain, two seeds remain. Dave and Mif, I thought you were going to leave me hanging for a second there. On the final set of the weekend here, as we are fighting over first seed in Smite Masters coming up in just a couple of weeks. He's also got a very good matchup up against Barracuda on this Artemis. The, the thing is, you don't want to use Stone Shield to immune the stun from Tusky unless you're quick enough. Generally, you want to wait till afterward because Artemis' kit is, is so flow state as Pagan ah. just does it to Ven in mid on his own. I guess that's why he picked the Uller so early, but Pagan. He gets things started early. And that doesn't happen often, Miff. I mean, just as you and I were well, talking about- It does for about, Pagan. Yeah, I suppose for Pagan it does. But, but just individual solo kills, especially at the SPL level, um, with the way the laning phase, as we've talked about, sometimes goes, you're, you're hanging out and farming, hoping for a gank to get something started. As we get a chance everything, to right? look back, Leap lands, Blue Stone's procced, the ax gonna be immediately afterward. Yeah, that, that's as simple as it gets. Ven just too far forward, oh did not realize how much wave pressure he lost and loses his life. It could just happen again, and it'll be even easier this time. Could consider a red buff invade at some point, though seems like both the Jade Dragons and the Olympus Bolts happy with just farming Is that things allowed? out. Uh, yeah, apparently Pagon! What? Oh my goodness, Ven only has beads! And there's a way to ignite this match. What? Nothing is happening for six minutes. And suddenly Pagon hits Ven with everything, with just a Spear of Desolation. And then we'll be able to head back to base and spend up some of that gold a little bit easier. Won't catch me getting disrespected like that ever. Ven allows him to dash onto tower line and doesn't even return damage with the Kraken. Sam for Sakura has the blink, but so does Lazbra. And we did see Lazbra, at least in game two, get a little bit more active up against Pagon. Didn't seem to matter though. Pagon found the damage oh anyway. God. Pagon in Desert Fury. Are you serious? He goes for the 1v1 and gets it. Centaurus needs to hit the target, but it won't. Pagon in a 2v1 grabs the kill on the Venenu, and Lazbra forced to run away as well. He is a madman, the newcomer, making it happen against Ven. Dude, Pagon has got Ven's number. He, he's He's got the download complete. He knows everything about this guy. The, the, the last three digits on the back of his cards, uh, the, the expiration date, Pagon's got it all, and he's got it in a little notebook because Ven has been getting dominated so far in this set. And we do not often see solo kills. We do not often see uh, the like laning phase in come set, in, in, in one a, set. In one set. It's happened like every game so far. The Thoth dashing in and finding the kill the second to go to level Uller five. in game one. Uller in game one. Now Pagon Wait, transforming into Pagon. Pagon's diffing this dude, mid-chasm. What a dynamic player Pagon has turned out to be for this J Dragons team. Wasn't all of the answers every in game, game one, at least. Yeah, it actually is nuts. It's one thing to say, you know, every once in a while we see it, but when you really think about it, every single game, we've seen at least one from Pagon. Thoth and Izanami locked in for the Bolts. A, a fresh look for both of these. Iza hasn't been picked up at all this weekend. Yeah, we haven't seen too much Iza, but given the fact that we've strayed away from the Crusher meta, Iza looks very solid, right? To it then. I was trying to say that right now, Pagon has a dream matchup because one thing Thought does really well is outrange you. One thing Susano does really well is get to those in, those mages that can't really escape, yeah. put the jet stream on them and say, go ahead, dash. I'm coming with you. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and so I imagine that's probably what the, the thought process was here. The mid lane matchup is what I'm paying attention to. Uh, I'm keeping my eyes uh, and... God, I hate how much I've been agreeing with Charlie today on the mid lane. Why? Because I that think means he's doing his job well, and you're doing your job well. Well, no, he's doing his job well, and I'm copying him. Oh. Yeah, if action is going to happen in this game, I think it is going to be in mid. Specifically, Pagon has had some experience in the Susano versus Thoth matchup in mid this year and has gotten first blood the majority of the times he's been able to line that up. Has gotten first blood or at least gotten a solo kill up against Ven every single game so far this set, so it feels almost inevitable that it could happen again, or maybe a return the other way. Ven's going to be expecting it. No way it happens to him four times in a row. Oh, you've doomed him now, man. <laughs> a very Sam for Soccer-esque pick, right? Where, where it's a jungle-style pick that not many uh -oh. are playing. Oh, no God, way, bro. Come on. It's unbelievable. It's happened four games in a row. The taunts. It's four games in a row.
Bro, and you know why? I told him Bro. out in the lobby, you gotta start taunting, man. You gotta start Bro, throwing stuff down. I told him to. to. <laughs> he did it for you. And he said, Dave, I did it in game three. We missed it. <laughs> we didn't miss it this time. Pagon is relentless. That is absurd. That is unheard of. Imagine the mental damage as well. Like, if, if you're Ven, you have to come to terms with the fact that you got soloed every single game in the finals. Do you think... All that right. was a 2v1. It was a 2v1 was a two last again, time, too. And it happened last time also. Oh and he lives God. again. Do you think Mike meant it when he said Pagon's the best player on this team? <laughs> Sam's on the way. And effectively traded out aggro. Saves one kill. Hasbro, oh no, he gets his back stopped by the minions. Sam for soccer doesn't no have blink. blink, but does have knockup and does have water carpet. No. Pagon does it no. again! Twice in the same game as Pagon puts down Ven once more. 2v1 again. And 2v1, I suppose, yet again, and dodges out the ultimate. It takes the red. From Awesome Jake. Red buff drops down. Mid lane is a graveyard. The Jade Dragons, Pagon, I mean, they would add another one to his highlight reel for this set. Pagon is just a menace. Like, yes, it's a counter matchup. Yes, Pagon is always drafting for it. That's Venenu. That's that's not some random guy in a ranked game. Event. That is a world champion MVP who has been soloed, what, five times now in four games, three of which in a 2v1 once now in his own red buff. This is massive from the Jade Dragons. Massive from the rookie Pagon. The Jade Dragons Stop from him. minute one behind their new mid laner roll over the bolts and they will secure first seeds. It looks like there's two guys that are standing off to my right. We got PBM and Pagon. I'm actually going to ask you, Pagon, just first, uh, what's going on in mid man? Because it seems to be that things are going smooth <laughs> for you. I don't know. He just can't. He just can't handle it. Like, you shouldn't be stepping up. I don't know. And it's just that simple. You just shouldn't be stepping up.